I am so excited to be introducing you to the A-Level in History and what you can expect if you choose to study History A-Level as one of your subjects. Now, a lot of you will have amazing ambitions to go on to university after your A-Level subjects. And the key thing to emphasise about history is that so many universities see history as a highly respected and a really valuable A-Level subject to choose. History is generally included amongst a list of subjects that are seen as desirable or essential by a number of universities in the country. For example, King's College Cambridge, as we can see, lists history as one of these subjects. But also history as seen as part of a list of facilitating subjects. In other words, history is a really fantastic subject to do if you don't yet know what you're going to study at university. It can pay off if you choose to take a subject like history, as it will generally open more doors to different university courses that you might want to take in the future. And this is generally because there are so many transferable skills that you will develop if you choose to study history that will not only open up a number of options for university, but also will open up opportunities for a variety of career paths in the future. For example, History is really key in developing your analytical skills. And as pointed here, if you're keen to do a subject like law in the future, as this quote says, the analytical skills required for A-level history is excellent for those wishing to study law in the future. But also, any good historian develops the ability to construct an argument and to communicate their findings in a really clear and persuasive manner. And history is all about developing your verbal and written skills which is desirable in all university courses, but also in a number of different careers. Finally, you will develop your critical reasoning and your ability to analyse evidence. In other words, history is about problem solving, thinking creatively, which are further desirable skills that you can acquire um, through the subject. And also in history, we'll make sure we really develop your independence, your confidence working without supervision and your ability to manage your time and priorities effectively. And finally, in terms of history, you can really develop your global awareness. Today, a lot of different universities and a lot of employers in the future will want you to show a wider understanding of the world. And this is something that history can also help you to develop as a skill that's transferable for your future. And importantly, a lot of our current year 13 students are really appreciating the fantastic skills that they're able to develop because they've chosen to take an A-level subject in history. First of all, a lot of our students recognise the really fantastic skills they are developing with regards to their essay writing, but also their ability to analyse evidence. Students recognise how they're gaining these skills that are not necessarily forcing them into one career path, but opening up a range of opportunities and doors for their future. And also students understand how just the knowledge they're getting about history and the wider world is really interesting, but really important. So our students recognise the fantastic skill set that they have acquired by choosing an A-level in history, and you will do the same if you choose to take the subject as well. So. What will you learn about if you choose to take an A-level in history? The first topic you will learn about is the history of the Tudors, one of the most notorious and significant royal families that has ruled over this country. Learning about the Tudors is important for a number of reasons. Firstly, the legacy of the Tudors can still be seen with us today. For example, it was in Tudor England that there were huge divisions over religion and this can still be seen in the world today, for example, in the religious divisions that still exist in Ireland. Secondly, studying the Tudors allows you to study the origins of Britain's rise as a global power. In order to understand the rise of the British Empire, you must learn about the Tudors. And finally, the Tudors course provides us with a fascinating comparison of modern day life. For example, we will study the reigns of two very significant queens in English history, Elizabeth I and Mary I, and we'll learn about what people thought about women at this time, which made their ability to rule over the country much more challenging. 
The second topic you'll study as part of your A-level in history is the Cold War. You will learn about how the Cold War was a global war and how it affected countries across the entire world in Asia, in Europe and also in Africa. Learning about the Cold War will help you to understand current issues and debates that are happening in the world today, such as the testing and development of nuclear weapons. You'll learn about China's rise as a global power and learning about the Cold War also will help you to understand why European nations have responded the way they have in response to certain conflicts today, such as the wars that have broken out in regions like the Middle East. At the end of Year 12, you'll also begin studying for your coursework unit, which is an essay of up to 4,500 words. And altogether, there are three topics that you can choose to write your essay on. One topic is the British Empire, the second, the civil rights movement in America, and finally, the rise of communist Russia. In terms of how you will be assessed for your History A-level, in both Year 12 and 13, you will sit two exams altogether for your AS and your A-level exams. In Year 12, your exams will be an hour and a half long, and in Year 13, this will increase to two exams of two and a half hours long. Now, in Year 13, the two papers are worth 40% each of your final A-level grade, because in addition to that, you will also have your history coursework making up the remaining 20% of your overall grade. So, why might an A-level in history be the right subject for you? First of all, universities recognise history as being a very respected and valuable subject. Studying history opens doors for your future, both in terms of university, but also different career paths. Our students really enjoy studying the subject and they see the value it has in developing these transferable skills for later life. And finally, learning about the Tudors and the Cold War will provide you with an excellent opportunity to broaden your knowledge and understanding of really important events that have taken place in both Britain, but also the wider world.